Hey YouTube, this is Mountain Man. On the internet, YouTube, you find the Stanley cook set, collapsible handle, and the lid that goes with it. You nest everything inside for backpacking. Well, I had an idea. So, I like coffee a lot. <laughs> so, I wanted to come up with an idea where I could nest something inside the Stanley so I could take backpacking with me so I could make coffee, but I wanted to make sure it was ultralight or lightweight. And I've seen videos on, uh, on YouTube where someone has taken a coffee press, the disc and the handle, and cut off the, uh, the top here so it would nest inside. And you can pack your stove and all the other things. You know, you fork your spoon or spork inside with your stove, would fit in, and uh, coffee grounds. But the thing is, even though that's a great way, don't get me wrong, I think the, the, the guy that had the video on YouTube, I'll have to link his channel in the description. I think that was a great idea. The thing is, I check the weight. Let's say in theory that's gonna be your gonna be your weight. Two point eight ounces. That's not bad. Still light. But I thought, you know, there's gotta be a better way. So I come up with, with this idea from a an over the cup. Um, coffee brewer and it, inside you have this filter the screen you shove it in there that's how it comes and pour your coffee grounds inside pour your hot water over that over your cup and it sits on a regular coffee cup it sits perfect on the top of a regular coffee cup but the thing is, when you're out in the bush, you've got to clean this thing out. And it requires water to uh, to clean it out. And I really didn't want to really didn't want to use my precious water while I'm out there for cleaning this thing. <clears throat> sure, you could use a, a rag just to wipe it out, but still, it's kind of a mess. I think there's got to be an easier way or a better way. So. The first thing I thought was, well, if I just put a filter in there, it's a number two cone filter, open it up, if my fingers would work today, open it up, shove it in there, coffee grounds, boom, <clears throat> make my coffee, then afterwards, I just take the grounds, Put it in my cat hole, and boom, you know, and take the filter, that's my trash, and put it in my trash bag, bring it back in, throw it away later. An idea hit me. So, these things, I don't know, you can get them for $8 all the way up to, I guess it's like 18 bucks for the collapsible um, GSI um, filter screen. I thought, eh. What if I can make something? Wonder if I can make something that'll nest inside my uh, my Stanley Adventure cook set. So I went went to put a <clears throat> put something away in the kitchen. And I saw a measuring cup, and I went, "Oh, here we go. Here's an idea." So in the cooking kits. The, the pot, pan, and lid kit uh, you can buy from Walmart. They have these measuring cups that come with it. I'm like, well, I man, wonder if that'll fit inside the fit inside the Stanley cook kit. So it has this little handle, a little handle to hold it on the side. So I cut it off with my knife. I thought I I can't do this with any tools. 
if I'm out in the bush, I want to be able to have that option, if anything. So, I just got a standard folding serrated knife. And I used it. I cut off the handle. Oh, there we go. Now, see if it fits. Beautifully. I thought, all right, all I got to do now is make a hole in the middle. I'm going to pull it out. On the bottom, I just set it down. Took the tip of my knife and slowly, with medium pressure, made a hole. Turned it around. Went back in on this side, did the same thing to kind of round out the hole. Huh, all right. So now, using a standard coffee cup, huh, fits great. Now, we're not going to have a coffee cup out there. More likely than not, we're going to be using something like this, which we can nest our prep and cook set in. So I thought, well, there's no way that this is going to stay. It's going to nest inside. So I guess I'm just going to have to hold it. And I'm okay with that. I thought, all right. Here we go. So now we have the measuring cup, the filter from the idea of the store bot. Put the filter in there. Add the grounds with two hands. Hold this. Hold the measuring cup. Pour the hot water in. I'm just going to hold it over using a glove to hold it in place over the cup. And there we go. Now I have a coffee system. So, I'm going to go into my prep cook sets. My stove, the Coleman Peak 1. Big, big isobutane stove. Um, MSR Pocket Rocket would be much more, much more compact. So there's that. And everything else in there. Put the lid back on. I'm good. Now the next thing. Wait. So. I thought how. How much is all this going to weigh. Compared to the coffee press. So. I said how many cups of coffee. Am I going to drink. Probably. Two or three cups a day. So. Figured take my filter. Fold it in half. Hold the sides in, and that's one. Ten cups, so I folded ten filters over the course of two to three days. All of them go into my cup. There we go. Then that drops down in here. Let's see how much. Now how much does my how much does my measuring cup converter conversion coffee brewer weigh? One point one ounce. That's oh, that's almost a two ounce lighter difference. One ounces count makes a huge difference. So there we go. Got that. Drops down in. Beautifully. Beautifully. I think I was going to throw this measuring cup away too. Now I got my, my stove. I need to get some shorter utensils or actually buy the, the spork. Maybe I could just cut the ends of the, the handles off. But anyway, that would all fit down in there. I could even add my coffee grounds um, in a Ziploc, shove the um, shove the utensils inside there, and that would be good. And put the lid back on. Boom! Pull the handle under, over, and uh, that would be my setup. Back into my five-dollar GSI type cup that you get right next to the Stanley cook set at Walmart. So. 
what, a dollar for a measuring cup if you can't, um, if you don't have the, the measuring cup from the, the cook kits, the, the, the outdoor cook pot, uh, pan, lids, etc. So, I mean, what we're talking, I paid $14 for the Stanley Cook kit, I paid $5 for the cup, the stainless steel cup, so we're up to about 19 bucks. So 20 bucks, you got a, um, the, the basics of what you can cook in. The stove cost me about 17, 18 bucks. So 38, 37. Now, the whole thing, now we'll go ahead and get a weight on it. You know, one pound, 3.5 ounces. Of course, I don't have the lid, so let's go put the lid on there. One pound, 4.6 ounce. So, still under a pound and a half, which is good. It's really good. Now, one more thing about the Stanley Cook set here is my lid. I wanted to show you. People are people are taking these lid tabs off and replacing it with the key rings. I did it without a tool. I used the key ring that I'm going to put on there. I just took the edge, moved it over, opened it, and I used that point on the key ring to push the pin out from the plastic insert that goes that goes between the lid and the notch or the uh, the tab there and came right out pin tab and tab gone now just put my key ring back on or put my key ring on I should say and there we go now it's done I've got everything I need to make coffee and I'll have food out in the bush to make in the Stanley Cook cook kit as well. So, there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this. If you'd like, subscribe so you can see when I upload more videos. And I will see you guys later. Enjoy your day. And get out there and enjoy nature. Bye.